after the panic in the last episode, our mass colony is doing a little bit better. But uh, let's see if we can't begin to progress a little bit towards our goals. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Surviving Mars with Down to Earth Astronomy. So, we had a bit of a panic moment last time we were running out of water, and a lot of you guys commented that apparently these have this area around them, and this is the area they are uh, they are taking um, from, so I should not put them this close, um, which is why I'm getting a reduced um, effect out of them. And, uh, well, now I know. I didn't know last time, but again, I'm learning a lot about the game. But at least I hope that we now have our water production um, pretty much under control right now. Um, we are lacking people, and if we can see if we go into some of our mission goals, currently the two goals we need to uh, to complete all of them is to generate at least 3,000 signs per soul. We're only generating 500 right now. And the last one is to have 10 Martian-born specialists. Um, I don't know how that difficult that's going to be, but it probably means we need to begin to consider um, making room for more... Um, uh, like for new people to be born rather than being flown in. But we can also see here if we go into... Is this our science lab? Research lab. Yes, we can see here we are very, very understaffed on, uh, on our research labs. Um, so I'm pretty sure that by just expanding this dome here with more living quarters, because I do believe that there's actually pretty plenty of room in there. Ah, of course, homes and education. So I think what we're going to do in um, in this area over here in this dome is we'll begin to prepare this for um, um, for actually getting people born on the planet. So we've got to build another apartment block. I think. Oh, we still had a lot of room in the other one. So maybe that's overkill. I don't know. Let's wait with that. But at least let's begin to get stuff on the way that we can use um, to ensure... That this is a little bit more, we can begin to actually have um, have children born on the planet. So I guess we would need a nursery. We'll put that up there. Martian University. We probably need this to get specialists, I would guess. Um, but for now, let's, in this area as well, build a playground. And let's also build... Oh, wow. Schools are big. Okay. we got to build a school there. Um... That at least should give us some of the facilities we need. I'm going to leave more room. But I think in order to speed this up, uh, that we might have to consider actually calling in a uh, a rocket again. Okay, uh, so I just switched some of our tech around a little bit. Um, I still want the moisturizers. So we can build those on site. Uh, but I prioritized the Martian education so we can begin to get, the, to get that on the way. Um, at least begin to build a university, because we're going to need that fairly soon, I think, if we want specialists. I assume that's how they work with the specialists, though I do not know. Okay, so it's done collecting, and in the meantime, the rocket has arrived, so let's get that thing on the ground. And of course, whenever we order people like this, it always brings in even more food. So, which is why I built this massive, massive food storage over here, to ensure we actually have somewhere to put it, because that's been a problem for me in the past. New colonists have arrived. Yeah, why are they all going there, though? I kind of want to prioritize. <laughs> okay, so a scientist brags into my office and say that they have an important climate experiment to make. Uh, <laughs> quick to assume the experiment is uh, quick to assure that the experiment is perfectly safe. Um, he reluctantly asks for permission to test in the vicinity of a dome. In case they need to get shelter really fast. So it's not that safe, is it? Um, I think you could go ahead with your experiment. But test it somewhere far away. Don't do it in the vicinity of the dome. I don't know what he's doing, but... Research complete. Okay, so we're up to, uh, to 856 science now per soul. Which is better. It's still not perfect, but it's better. Um, I might actually open up... The second work shift. Let go, let that thing work around the clock. I still don't think that's going to be enough. So we'll have to build more science labs in here, I guess, um, to get more science. Unless we can do something, unless we can research something. Hold on, let me get in here. Uh, that's going to allow us to gain more research. 
Okay, we actually have one here that gives us the ability to upgrade our research centers. So I think we're going to put that in the queue uh, as the second one. And there was another one here that I also really liked, um, that the Martian board colors graduate faster. And there was also one here that actually maybe we should take this one first. Um, so birth rates are increased and then they graduate faster. Um, and then we can put this one in as, as a third one if we get that far. This is quite a bit of research. So... Okay, so I have no idea if this is the right way to go, but I ordered a second rocket, and this time just filled up with as many scientists as I possibly could. Trying to get um, as many people in here uh, as possible, and I'm considering if I... I mean, I'm not sure if these domes... I assume they count as one where they have that bridge between them. New colonists have arrived. Um, if not, I would have to build some living quarters in this area. Yeah, okay, so it does say here that colonists can work and use services in domes that are directly connected with passages through their residential dome. So that means that they will basically count as one dome, I guess, when they are connected with a with a path here. Hmm, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. I Maybe I'm not just not patient enough, but Martian-born specialists... <clears throat> I'm not get, really getting any, any specialists right now. And there's no one working... And no one working in the schools Major either. Incoming. Research complete. Milestone achieved. New colonists have arrived. Oh, okay. A hundred colonists has arrived. Nice. Ah, okay, I see. Oh, you get bonus for this. Okay. Construct a megadome. Construct a wonder. Wow, okay. I guess I could make some living spaces here. I'm gonna wait with that. What else could I do? I could, uh... We have some work they can do. They can work in all these different educational and science labs. So it's not like there's nothing for them to do here. Um... We have a university, we have a school, we have a playground, we have a nursery. Uh, we don't have access to these yet, uh, so we'll have to do that later. We don't have an apartment, don't have that. Well, okay, what else? Services, that's what they're lacking. Resources are low. Uh, okay, we're getting low on, uh, on electronics, so I have to do something about that. We don't have an infirmary, but they can share services across, right? Uh, what about an open-air gym? What is this? This is a space bar, right? We could build an open-air gym, I guess. Um... Or a casino complex. Let's build an open air gym. Whoa, those things are big. Okay, you know what? There's only one person working in this uh, this research lab, and we have plenty of room for more people working here. So I think I'm going to actually demolish this. It seems a little um, a little silly since we just built it. But I want to make room for some. Uh, yeah. See, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you see the guy He's going to work, and then see the whole building just collapses. Hopefully, this is going to make this area a little bit more inviting. Sector scanned. Anomaly oh, found. anomaly. Nice. Um, services. What about if we put up a grocer as well? So they can get some food close by. They have schools. They have places to work. There's a gym. This is a nice dome. I would live here. Now you also get nice houses. Yeah, now we're talking. Look at this. Now we have two full work shifts over here. And I believe that all our science labs over here are full as well. So we are all, apart from this one, is malfunctioning. So, but I have more electronics incoming. I did end up buying some, and I hope that's going to be enough to actually get me uh, research complete. Get me through. And now we just got the amplification, so we can actually begin to amplify them. But because these ones are full, I'm going to make sure that we have. I mean, if somebody wants to work in a research lab, I gotta have a job for you, regardless. I'm gonna put up another research lab there. Oh, this is a problem. So, my drone hop just broke down because of out of electronics. And I have a rocket in orbit with electronics, but I can't get it down because... I don't have any drones to actually empty the rockets, unless I sent it off with some of the fuel. How many can we, is this, can I have more drones assigned to this somehow? 
Because this one has one drone assigned to it. Can you go... Oh yeah, I can. Assign to this. Sector scanned. Gotta assign some drones to this thing here. So... Does it have now seven? Give it a few more. There we go. Okay, now some of these are beginning to actually empty the rockets. We're gonna put this up as the highest priority. So hopefully they will empty that rocket first. And get it refueled also. Uh, okay, it is refueled. There we go. And as soon as we got that thing repaired, everything just springs back to life here. And we have a lot of stuff broken all around us. And uh, we need to get those fixed. Um, I also built that. So while we're waiting for this to happen, I guess we could upgrade our... Yes, this costs polymers. We have plenty of polymers. Upgrade them. 25% extra output. It's nice. Oh, I'm already low on electronics again. Anomaly found. Oh, that could be good. What on earth is that? What? The hell? A routine scan of the perimeter has detected an unidentified object within immediate proximity of the colony. Data logs confirm it. It isn't a glitch. What is this? A routine scan of the perimeter of the... Uh, the mysterious object appears to be consistent of pitch black cubes arranged in a matrix. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, Levitate about the ground. That is really weird. Effect. <laughs> a black cube has appeared seemingly out of nowhere. We have to investigate this anomaly. Okay. I think this is going to be our priority now. Um, we're going to finish the biotech because we spent so much time on it. We are halfway through. That's like 5,000 signs. Um... But as soon as we're done with that, we're gonna begin investigating what is up with this. Because when something clearly alien, levitating in the middle of our base, uh, that could potentially be harmless. But I have a suspicion it's not. I'm just gonna assume it's not until I have more information. So let's quickly finish this research and, um, and let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, so I called in yet another rocket um, with even more people because I am actually running out of living spaces now. So I had to upgrade this or upgrade. I have to build this as an apartment building rather than these nicer living quarters. And I'm considering if we should expand with another dome over in this area here. Um, but I called in also some security personnel like some uh, that could hopefully help. I'm also beginning to get problems with people stealing stuff from the... Uh, from the depots, so I'm gonna get some security personnel in here also in case I don't know what this is gonna be. Um, but okay, we have no one living here, perfect. So, how much would it actually be to build a new dome? Um, so, um, I think I'm gonna call it here. We are almost done with the research on uh, um, on the scanning here, so meaning we can begin the research on uh, um, on the cube. But that's going to be next time. So if you're interested in seeing what is up with this weird cube structure here, you'll have to tune in next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. And also next time, I'll see you guys in space.